I got one good question for you. Is your credit score stuck and it's not taking off on how you want to take off? There could be multiple things you heard and you tried and it's not working. And I'm going to help you blow up your credit score. So with that being said, you already know what time it is. Let's get right into it. What's up, family? I'm about with another one. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the family. So in today's class, I'm going to explore five myths Five credit myths you probably heard, you probably tried, and it's not working. So with that being said, go grab a pen, go get some paper, and you know, you got to get you something to drink. Woo, this class is going to be a good one. Before I get into today's lesson, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for showing love. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Every view counts. Every comment counts. Everything, every like. I just really appreciate everything that y'all been doing. And... If you've been getting results, hey, congratulations. Appreciate you for putting in the work. And if you haven't got no results, hey, continue putting in the work. Just remember, you just want to leash it away from getting to your ultimate credit score. However, if you don't have the time, if you don't feel like doing uh, freezing the snitches, analyzing, sending a single letter off, and you don't feel like doing that, all that extra work, right? I got a solution. I got a team. I got a support system. So just call this number right here. I'm going to put it on the screen. Call this number right here. Make sure y'all get it. Write it down. Call my team. Hey, we're available Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to about 5 p.m. Reach out, text, call, leave a voicemail. If nobody answer, leave a voicemail. We're going to get back to you. Hey, I just want to make sure I'm helping y'all get into where y'all need to be so y'all can pull up your credit score. So let's get into the lesson. Hey, welcome to today's lessons. Welcome to today's class. So the first credit myth you probably heard is you can only dispute five counts at a time, right? Dispute only five accounts at a time. Imagine if you have 10 or 15 or 20 accounts that's hurting your credit score and somebody tells you only to dispute five at a time. Don't listen to that noise. Don't listen to them people, right? You can dispute multiple accounts at multiple times. What I mean by that is you can dispute all the accounts at one time. And the reason why you want to dispute all the accounts is because you know sometimes the credit bureaus take about 45 days or sometimes they might say you're, um, your dispute is frivolous because they don't have enough information now. You just wasted 15, 20 days just by doing that. So what I want you to do is make sure you send off, use a secret letter and list all the accounts. Now I don't have spots available for 15 accounts, just copy and paste and make sure you list all the accounts on this dispute letter. Grab the free, grab the free secret letter, the link is in the description, make sure you grab that and list all the accounts on your credit report, right? All the accounts that's turning your credit score back List them all on here because there's no reason why you need to wait um, another, you need to wait 30 days to dispute five accounts at a time. Don't listen to nobody, don't listen to all that noise, right? Dispute all the accounts because your time is valuable and you need to make sure they're doing a proper investigation on every single account that's holding your credit score back. So your credit score can blow up an extra 50, 20, um, 100 points because once you remove negative items off your credit report, you're gonna see your credit score increase. It might decrease, it might increase, it might go up and down. That's the reason why I say don't pay attention to your credit score at first as you're disputing because your credit score is going to fluctuate. It's going to go up and down, up and down, especially if you pay attention to credit karma. And we know that credit karma ain't our true score, so don't pay attention to credit karma score because it's um it, it's a vanity score. And first of all, it's a vanity score and nobody's really, the banks ain't using credit karma score, so don't pay attention to it. So pay attention to the credit report, see what's coming off, see what's going on, see what's hurting it, and just pay attention to that. And don't listen to people saying you're only gonna dispute five counts at a time. Crazy. The second myth I heard out there, the second thing people were saying is the reason why their credit score is where it's at and is really low is because of hard inquiries. Yes, hard inquiries. And I'm gonna break it down to you. The reason why hard inquiries is not the main thing that's holding your credit score back, unless you have an 800 plus credit score, right? And you have a lot of hard inquiries and you apply for a lot of things, and that's the reason why. But if you're in the between the 500 and 600, hard inquiry is not the reason why your credit score is where it's at. There's a lot of major factors, and I'm gonna break it down to you real quick. Now, for you to understand this, you gotta understand what banks are looking at, and the banks are looking at the FICO score. So if you understand that the banks are looking at the FICO score, the FICO score is broken down to five major factors, right? The five major factors are um, payment history, which is, as you can see, 35% of your score. Uh, credit us credit utilization is 30% of your score. Now, the next major factor is um, average age, which is 15% of your score. 
let's say total accounts, which is mix of accounts, let's say that's 10% of your score. And then hard inquiries, new accounts is the last 10% of your score. So if you can understand that this is just only 10% of your score, you will understand that this is not the major re this is not the major factor or the reason why your credit score is stuck and the reason why your credit score is not improving. It could be a little bit apart, but it's not the major reason why your credit score is stuck at where it's at. Now, it will help you improve your credit score extra 5, 10, 15 points depending on what's going on in your credit report, but I can't give you that calculation because I don't know. However, if you can understand the calculations in the point system, then you're going to see that the major factor is payment history, especially if it's at 99% and utilization, especially if it's above um, 30, I mean, above 10%, you'll see what I'm saying here in a second. So the highest credit score you can have is an 850, right? And the lowest credit score you can have is a 300. That means you have 550 points to play with when it comes to your credit score. So I want you to understand that 550 points. Now, 35% of 550 is what? 192.5, 192.5. 30% of 550 is 165 points. 15% of 550 is 82.5. Now I break down this in a lot of my videos. And then 10% um, of 550 is, you know, 55. And then 55 is the last part, right? So as you can see, 55 points compared to 192.5, compared to 165, compared to 82.5. This is the least reason why your credit score is, is stuck, right? So don't pay attention to, well, remove the hard inquiries off your credit report if you have a lot of them. However, this is not the main, the main reason why your credit score is stuck. This is not the main reason why your credit score is where it's at. Hard inquiries is not the main reason. As you can see, as a breakdown, the main reason is payment history, um, utilization, and if you have a lot of collections, right? Derogatory accounts, this is the main reason why your credit score is stuck. So pay attention to this part for it. Remove all the negative items. Use my secret letter. Use my dispute playbook. My dispute playbook is right here. Go grab a copy of the dispute playbook. Hey, if you're family, everybody's family, you get 50% off. So use the discount code family and get the um, dispute playbook. Now, like I was saying, you know, I had to put it in there. So just pay attention. You can remove the hard inquiries. I have videos showing you how to remove the hard inquiries, but this is not the main reason. These are the main reasons. So pay attention to this first. The third biggest myth I see out there is telling people to dispute online. Do not, do not, do not dispute online. There's only one reason why you'll dispute online is if, is if you're removing your personal information. Other than that, do not dispute no accounts, no collection, no charge up, no repossession. Do not do it. Do not again, right? Because you're opting out on to do you're opting out to do a fair investigation, right? If you do it online, they're not gonna do a proper investigation. So dispute only through mail. And it's a process. I'm gonna break it down to you real quick the process on what you should do on how to do this. Now, you should get clear on what you really wanna do. And once you get clear on what you really wanna do, end in mind is you wanna get a house, a car, personal funding for your business, get clear on what you really want. Second, you wanna analyze your credit report. If you don't have your credit report, grab all three. The link is in the description, grab your credit report. Now, you wanna then clean up your personal information because personal information is attached to all negative accounts or all accounts in general. However, you wanna remove your personal information, especially the ones that are attached to the negative accounts. And then you wanna freeze the snitches. Once you freeze the snitches, um, you then wanna set everybody up with a free secret letter. You know, go grab, I already talked about it. That free secret letter sets everybody up. And then you wanna be building credit at the same time in the process of you waiting because you gotta wait 30 days for them to respond back. Do not. Hey, once again, do not send off another letter once you send off that secret letter because you know what, what's gonna happen is the process is gonna be delayed because the credit bureaus now have more evidence so they have to wait um, an extra 30 or 45 days and you're gonna be upset. So just be building credit at the meantime and then you're gonna use my KO method, right? By um, using the CFPB, using the Attorney General's Office, using the BBB, using the um, Fair Credit Reporting Act to knock these things off your credit report. Now, this is the process you wanna do do not dispute online. Don't be listening to everybody. These are the reasons why you don't get results. This is the reason why your credit score is um, where it's stuck because you're disputing online, your account's coming back verified, and you're getting upset. So don't dispute online. The next major, the next biggest myth I hear out there is credit karma. Credit karma is your real credit score. <laughs> hey, or a credit karma, the banks use credit karma. Do not stop listening to people because credit karma isn't your true score, right? It's, it's, a, it's a score, it's what the 
actual credit bureaus are using. However, it's not your true credit score. Your true credit score is a FICO score. Your true credit score is what the banks are using is FICO, pay attention to the FICO score. Pay attention to Experian has FICO score, my FICO. Um, some banks have FICO scores. However, if you wanna check your real credit score, you wanna check what the banks are looking at, go to myfico.com or go to um, Experian.com and you can be able to pull all three. Now, some places do help you pull FICO scores like Smart Credit or Identity IQ or other places might show you my, I mean, FICO scores. However, that's your real score. The reason why you wanna use different other things is because you wanna use it to remove those negative items. Once everything come off, you wanna really be looking at your FICO scores. So, pay attention to FICO scores. Those two people is talking about credit karma is the reason, I mean, not credit karma, well, telling, pe telling you that credit karma is your real score and that's what the banks are looking at. Credit karma is the only using advantage and that's not what the banks are looking at. Hey, last but not least, we have myth number five. And the biggest one I hear out there is student loans can't be removed from your credit report. Woo! I swear I hear that a lot. I promise. Oh my gosh. A lot of people say student loan can't come off your credit report. Or I can't remove a student loan. Man, it's crazy. And I have a lot of results like this one or like this one. You know, I can go on and on. However, student loans can come off your credit report. It's just that you got to go through that process that I showed you, that seven step process. And using the fair credit reporting right if you don't want nothing on your credit report it don't have to be on there because according to the law you have the right to privacy and if you need to get nobody written instructions or put on your credit report they I could go on and on with these different type of laws however you just got patience to these and using my seven step formula because you just want to delete the way to get into your ultimate credit score so don't listen to the noise out there things that come off your credit report whether you have a repossession charge off bankruptcy eviction child support um you name it anything can come off your credit report so i show you that in plenty, plenty of my videos guiding you step by step by step and if you have any questions drop them in the comments and if you don't feel like doing none of this work hey just call this number right here and we'll be able to help you